and it's JJ Delaney, the fullback, who clears it into open territory. In there as far as Owen Larkin, has a support player if he uses him. TJ Reid was just ahead of him, opted to play it inside towards Colin Fennelly, yet to score. Here's Fennelly, Johnny Cohen came across, like the cavalry, coming across there in the nick of time. Out as far as Niall Donoghue, deep into midfield. Regan there against a couple of Kilkenny players, this time supported and well hit away by David Burke. Only as far as Tommy Welch, back around corner back at this stage, picking up his man, inside towards Richie Parr. It's uh, a one-point game, remember. Out as far as David Collins, up towards Damian Hayes. Fascinating contest in the second half. Out it comes to uh, Brian Hogan, once again, starring at centre-half back. Very much the dominant figure in that line at this stage. Beautifully in as far as Henry Shefflin gets away from Hines, and Shefflin strikes it. And Shefflin's the one who puts the teams on terms. Henry Shefflin's seventh point of this match. The would-be history maker ties it up with 50 minutes gone. Teams level in this All-Ireland final for the second time. Yeah, that's a great score. You see the timing there. He just waited for that ball, brought it down and over the bar. A great score. And, you know, Galway have got very negative. They've only scored one point, as I said earlier, in the second half. Uh, the drop, you know, dropping men back is fine, but the Kenny are able to pick off scores like that from out the field. And Galway really need to drive on now. You know, they still have loads of pace, loads of power in their legs. It's an injury to Fergal Moore. They're solid, they're durable defender here, and they could ill afford to lose him, and uh, he's not going to be lost. He's going to get back up onto his feet immediately. Conor Cooney there is uh, the substitute being prepared to come on. And uh, Cooney was the one who lost his place in the team for James Regan. Brian Cody will be delighted with the way his team have just worked their way back into this match through hard graft. Referee down there checking with his umpires. And that's what sort of game it is, Joe. You know, it's not the highest scoring game, it's not flashy, but it's absolutely tough. Every ball has been fought for him. Tommy Walsh getting a yellow card there, obviously something off the ball with Cyril Donlan that we didn't see, and uh, that's Tommy Walsh now and JJ Delaney, both on yellow cards, back there around the full back line. Four yellow cards this year, two per team, as James Regan goes off, Conor Cooney comes off, remembered for his uh, couple of early goals against Offaly in the Leinster semi-final, but uh, the scores ran dry for him in recent matches, and he lost his place, now he's got his chance to be the hero. They'll all be heroes in Galway if they manage to win their first All-Ireland for 24 years, Kilkenny going for two in a row, Six in seven years, and the referee isn't finished just yet, having uh, received some advice from his other officials, linesmen and umpires. And this time it's Kieran Joyce who's been called across. And uh, just as Tommy Walsh, number five, got a yellow card a little while ago, Barry Kelly now issuing another yellow card. So three of the backs have been yellow carded for Kilkenny, Delaney, Walsh and Joyce now. Still a lot of time to be played in this match. We're only 17 and a half minutes into the second half. The issue is hanging in the balance in front of a crowd of just under 82,000. James Skell playing it down. Tommy Walsh trying to come for it. Wriggling his way this way and that. What a player he is. Terrific player. Tommy Walsh, one of the great heroes of Kilkenny. Wonderfully crafty and competitive. Nine times an All-Star. Kept scoreless by Lara Corbett in the semi-final in a kind of a role reversal exercise. Free by uh, Paul Murphy. He's had a great match. That's dangerously in there towards TJ Reid. Coming right back out to Earl Italian. Back onto the 45-metre line. Walsh lets it drop. Murphy tries to get to it. Here's the new man in, Connor Cooney, with his first touch, surrounded by Kilkenny players. Now there's an extra bit of sparkle in Kilkenny's play. That buzz which was missing at times in the first half, maybe down to nervousness, maybe just a hangover as a result of the hammering in the Leinster final. They lost by 10 points after all, but certainly now they are much more assertive and much more looking like their old selves. Yeah, the experiences maybe begin to tell. Conor Cooney there, just after coming on, thought he was going to tap it over, and Richie Hogan got back, lovely hook, and uh, long way out now for Henry Shefton, but he should have no problem with the distance. Two great shooters in action here, Joe Canning and Henry Shefflin. Henry with this monster of a free. Deep inside his own half of the field, he's now got eight points in this match. King Henry, their hero. Is he on his way to a ninth All-Ireland winner's medal? Kilkenny lead by one, 
and there are 54 minutes, a little over gone. James Skehel, now there's a need for a rapid response by Galway. As you've been saying, Michael, only one point to show for the second half so far. And that a score by Niall Burke. And here is Niall Burke, and there is a response. What a time to get it! 55 minutes gone, Niall Burke comes up with his first ever goal in the championship. It's only a second score for Galway in the second half. Well, what a timely boost it's come. Big one in, Burke followed it in, and that is a simply wonderful score. Beautifully executed, 2-10 now to 14 points, and it's Galway by two. What a conclusion to this All-Ireland final we should get now. Richie Hogan drops hitting it inside, inside towards Richie Parr, scrambling for it there with Johnny Cohen, trying to get it out, helped by Tony O'Gregan, under enormous pressure, Power again, gets a little chip inside here, Hogan and uh, Fogarty tries to keep the ball in, but it's knocked away in the end, out towards Damian Hayes, very near the sideline, and the linesman over there has signalled it's a line ball. Yeah, what a time, crucial time to get a goal for Galway, not normally you see two Kilkenny backs clashing in the air, uh, Brian, Ho Brian Hogan was dropping back there, clashed in and great, picked up by Niall Burke. He's only a young player, and that's a great finish, showed great composure, low ball, no chance for David Hurley. 1-1 one, one for him in the second half. Always only scores. Galway now under pressure. Trying to withstand that pressure, and it's Niall Donoghue. Quickly back out into the middle of the field. Lots of Kilkenny players there waiting for it. Drop forward here, lost and regained. TJ Reid. And the man pursuing him is Damien Hayes. Well, they've been boosted enormously, Galway, by that uh, goal by Niall Burke, and now they need to retain every bit of composure that they've got. They may be seen the winning post, but it's far too early for that. It's only 56 minutes in, and they're only ahead by two points, and they're up against the Cats. And Henry Shefflin has this opportunity to bring it back to a one-point game again. Eight points so far. Composes himself before striking it straight between the posts again. Give him any bit of chance whatsoever, any tiny little bit of indiscipline, and he will punish you in the form he's in right now. Yeah, great low shot there by Niall Burke. Hurl thrown there by Paul Murphy too, lucky to escape the yellow card because it is the yellow card for thrown to Hurl. But you're just talking, Henry Sheffield has gone out centre forward after about 15 20 minutes when Kilkenny were in all sorts of trouble, and at his age and all the injuries he's had to be out there is a tribute to the man, and he's scoring everything at this stage. He's an incredible player. And Galway right now are trying to withstand what uh, Kilkenny are throwing at them. And it'll be Jackie Turrell who will launch the next attack. Helped out here by Michael Fennelly. Deep one in towards Richie Power. Brought down beautifully by Johnny Cohen. What a star. Only 21 years of age, the Loch Ray player. Well, he's produced some assured performances this year. And that one has got off the stick of Niall Burke. It's going to be a line ball to Kilkenny. 57 and a half minutes are gone. What about this oh, for a fetch? That's a great catch, and that's you know that's not the main part of his game. You saw earlier on Conal Finley broke onto a ball, and you see the pace of Johnny Coney got back and flicked the ball away. And you know he's been he to me has been the biggest single influence on this goal with backline with the pace that he brings to the to the occasion, and very very assured on the ball. Richie Hogan cutting it in as far as Larkin lost it. Tanyan takes it, gets away from Michael Fennelly, swept back down there again. Intended for Cyril Donnellan, who's taken his turn in at full forward, but it's Tommy Welch who gets there. Worked out of defence by Jackie Tyrrell. Again, judicious use of the hand passing. Inside it comes towards Michael Fennelly, trying to go through a minefield here. Loads and loads of Galway bodies back there, helping out the half-backs and midfield. And it's worked out to David Burke, wearing number 10, back around midfield. But now as they fire it forward, there's very few players to fire it forward too. And Paul Murphy has taken it back down again. Two or three Galway players go for the one ball. Regan got it out as far as Tanyan. And he was trying to play it across to Cooney. Seized on immediately there, but that slack ball might be David Collins's. Gets there first. Back to Jackie Turrell once again. Players must be tired and weary, but they're giving absolutely everything they've got in towards Henry Shefflin. Breaks it to himself. Shefflin! Colin Fennelly! Saved by James Scale. I think he might have the claim lay on the bottom of what is saved by James Scale. If Galway would want to win this, this is the crucial moment of the game. Brilliant touchdown by Henry Shefflin, flicked it into Colin Fenley straight away, and a brilliant save. I thought Henry might have gone himself, 
and tried to beat the goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe he didn't trust the legs at this stage of his life, but he gave a brilliant, brilliant pass straight away to Colin Fenley. And this is a crucial call now. Did he lie in the ball? Is it going to be a free in or will it be a, a throw in on the 21? Well, the referee must have had a very good view of it himself. Well, the umpire certainly had. They were right just beside it. Well, what's he doing? He's yeah. giving it to Kilkenny. He's saying that he lay on the ball and it's going to be a free in. And this is huge now. Opportunity this is coming huge. up. We saw it in 2010, in 2009. It's a 21 yard free, yeah. Which uh, Henry Shetland's going to take. Goalkeeper Deem to lay on the ball. Henry striking. He's put it over the bar. Didn't go for the uh, goal opportunity. And so the teams are level once again. Henry Shefflin now with 10 points. You can just see a lovely touchdown here by Henry Shefflin. Hurled thrown there again by Johnny Combe. What a save by James Cahill. Any surprise that Henry didn't go for a goal there? Well, not really. It's too tight a game. I think this is, look, there's only 10 minutes to go. It's going to go right down to the wire. And uh, He did it at the very beginning. I know he did, but... If they go on and lose by a point, you'd be saying it afterwards. I think it was the right call. 19, Jonathan Glynn coming in. And Conor Cooney hasn't lasted very long. That's a hard, it's hard on Conor Cooney, but a brave call by the management. Back and Brian Hogan, what a second Hogan. half he's had. Yes, super. Up as far as Larkin, takes it down and then turns. And then in one striking move, puts it effortlessly over the crossbar. A point in each half by the team captain, playing today in his 35th championship match. And Kilkenny respond to the goal earlier on by Niall Burke by going back into the lead. And that's a that's a brilliant team scorer. And what a second half Brian Hogan has had. He's absolutely dominated. Even though Niall Burke has scored 1-2, dominated him in the first half and broke in for the goal there. But Brian Hogan has been very influential in the second half. 1-2, however, means they've only scored uh, two scores in the second half goal. Right? They need more if they're to win this final. Damian Hayes, back as far as Tony O'Gregan. Trying to place it this time, across here beautifully. And this time it's Cyril Donnellan. And uh, he slipped, and the referee says he was aided in his slipping by being pushed by Tommy Welch, and it's going to be a free in. And a chance now for Joe Canning. This one is certainly one he needs to nail. Can't afford to miss this, it's a highly pressurised free. Yeah, good call there, a nudge in the back, and that's, I think, a couple of puckouts have been aimed at Cyril Donnellan. You know, he's starting in very deep and running out, and he's won a few very good balls down that wing in the second half. You've got 1-6 in the first half, Joe Canning, nothing in the second half so far. There are only scores from Niall Burke. And this one is right over. Goal and seven for Big Joe. And it is Galway, who are 2-11. Kilkenny, 17 points. So 17, Joseph Cooney has come on. And it's uh, Niall Burke who's going off. Yeah, despite scoring 1-2, but that's the, the aerial, I think, uh, dominance of Brian Hogan in the second half. Joseph Cooney's a much bigger man, and again, a big call by the goal manager. Yeah, some very, two very big calls there in rapid succession on the part of Anthony Cunningham, Matty Kenny and Tom Hellebert. Now, will they prove to be winning moves at the end of it all? Because, as you can see, there are only now about seven and a half minutes left of the 70. Matt Ruth is on. Colin Fennelly's gone off. Here we watch Johnny Glenn, and that one is a wasted opportunity by the 19-year-old, a minor last year. Had a very, very good final last year, but uh, stepping up to the senior final, could have done a little better there. Yeah, he's actually switched in to centre-forward now on, on Brian Hogan and with Joseph Cooney going out in the wing on Kieran Joyce. From the puck out, straight down through the centre towards Henry Shefflin. Again, he does it on his own, wins that ball. What a match he's playing. Trying to get through, can't do it all on his own, however.